I am not Dance Man Robin, but we did the beginning class here, Let's Dance, Thursday nights, Oaks Park, week one, nightclub two-step. Linda and I are gonna be here to show you exactly what we did. So the rhythm pattern that we use is slow, quick, quick, slow, or side, back, middle, side back, middle, side. So Linda and I can do that together. It's gonna to look like this. Five, six, seven, eight, side, back, middle, side, back, middle, side. So be sure to take that middle step. So each one of these are a weight transfer. So we're going full weight on the right foot, and then we're gonna take the middle foot and we're gonna move over full weight transfer there, and then a full weight transfer to the side, a full weight transfer back, a full step into the middle, and then a weight transfer back. Okay, so that's the magic of that. We need to make sure to do that. And as we're doing this, don't take huge steps. In the beginning, we'll do it, I'll do it from this angle. It's gonna be a side, and then it's gonna be a rock step side, okay? You notice I didn't go like this. That's gonna get really awkward, especially when both Linda and I are connected, and then we do that at the same time. So Linda, let's do it really wrong, really bad. Here's what it looks like. Five, six, seven, eight, side, Huge step side. See how bad that looks? You don't want to do that. That's bad. Let's not do that. So don't do that. So we did we did basic form and then we connected. And so I'll do it from this angle here. And so this is what it looks like together. We're going to talk about connection and frame and handhold here a little bit. So it's going to look like a six shooter. Here's what it's going to look like. That's what your hands are. These side fingers are like barricades. They're to create lateral motion and these are to create the in and out movement. So of course, you can also move them in, in this direction, but this is your standard handhold. So Linda's gonna be here, I'm gonna be here. You notice that the height of this handhold is appropriate to the height of the follow. The lead's job is to make that appropriate. So we're not stretched way out like this. We're also not way up here. We're not in T-Rex arms. We're gonna try to keep it right down here in a nice, comfortable position for Linda. Is that all right? Yep. Okay. So it'll be just kind of between the, uh, the no-no zone here and the belly button. It'll be kind of the, the general area that we're in. You like the no-no zone, don't you? That was cute. Okay, so, and we're also going to be doing, as we go, we're gonna be going side, back, middle, side, back, middle, side. You see how the dance is kind of breathing that, we, that we're out and then in? It's got this, this bit of motion here that, that really makes it beautiful. So make sure to put that into your dance and practice that as we go in. And so what we did now from this point is we did the, the rotation. We did, a, we did a spin for the lady. It looks like this at speed. Side, rock, step, side, rock, step. We raise the hand rock step side rock step side so the leader keeps doing leader footwork we've been working on that you already know what that looks like but for the follow it's going to look like this and linda and i'll do it together in tandem and so it'll go side we'll start this way side to the left and then rock step side and then we're going to put all of our weight on the right foot and we're going to pivot there we go and then all the weights on the left foot. Now we're gonna bring the weight back and put it on the right foot again. And then we'll collect and take one more step and then we'll be back into a rock step side, rock step side. So we'll do that at full speed. Is that all right, Linda? Uh -huh. Going to the left, five, six, seven, eight, side, rock step, side, step, pivot, pivot, and rock step, side. So that's what that's gonna look like. That's what we did. Now, the one thing that we're gonna talk about at the end here is going to be the connection here. We don't, if Linda has noodle arms, then, then I, I can have the, the, the best lead going on in the world, but she's not, none of it's gonna translate. And so when Linda frames up these, her, her forearm and elbow and, and biceps are gonna turn into shock absorbers, like mine are, to where there's some rigidity in there. So if I turn, if I stagger Linda's arms, it moves her upper body, it moves her frame. And if she does the same to me, then I will also reciprocate. That's what we call connection communication in dance, because I'm not telling Linda what we're actually going to be doing. I'm telling her 
with the body movements and the opportunities that I present to her. So that is the very beginning of Nightclub Two-Step. We're excited to see you back here for week two, Nightclub Two-Step, Oaks Park, 7 p.m. We'll see ya.